Man, that Secret Santa Christmas clap was so much fun, right guys? Uh, guys? Guys? Somebody's gotta give me a ride. <sighs> Man. Well, since I'm here, might as well go see the Northern Lights. So beautiful. Oh, I got an idea. Let's go. All right, now to start, I got an old tumbler that I'd already prepped and painted yellow that I kind of didn't finish. You know, you'll have that. But I always start with a pre prepped white tumbler from Steel Magnolia. You could probably do this on stainless steel not painted or anything but i never start on anything other than a pre-prepped white tumbler or i'll prep it too white myself you might say that's totally unnecessary but i like to keep my process as uniform as possible on the parts that i can control that way when something does go wrong is way easier to pinpoint your problem and fix it and move on so there for this, we got some variegated, beautiful gold leaf. It says green. I don't know. It doesn't look, there's no, it doesn't look green at all. If you remember, I used this on this tumbler right here. The link will be in the description on these videos if you want to go back and check them out later. But to put it on, we're going to use this stuff right here. And if you remember, this is exactly the same stuff we use to put on a wrapping paper on the tumbler. You know what I'm saying? Came out great. Ooh. Let's get started. So the next step is to grab this stuff and we're just going to put a nice generous coat on here. And if you want to do the bottom, do the bottom. But we're going to shake it up and spray some glue on here. Here, here. All right, now that we've got our tumbler all sprayed up and sticky, I put it on my turner. And what I'm gonna do, if I can find an empty sheet, here we go. Now you have to be careful. This stuff is super delicate. Fragile. Oh, I ripped it. Lay it on here like so, and just tap it down. It doesn't have to be smooth or nothing. Look, you can take this part that's got the rip and fill in the holes with it. So it'll do that. There you go. Get it on there, put it all over. It doesn't have to be anything specific or beautiful. Cause it, I mean, really, literally just look at it now. You leave it like that, it's so beautiful. It's like the wrapping paper. It's like, no matter what you do, it looks so stinking amazing. Oh my gosh, that's just beautiful like that. All right, next paper. Oh, I got some sticky on my hand. We're just gonna load this bad boy up all the way around. Get your tumbler covered with your leaf. And then we're just gonna gently rub it and all the parts where it overlapped and there's no sticky glue it'll come off like black like magic there's some put some right there and then when you got your whole tumbler covered you're just going to gently rub it you can actually use a soft paintbrush that's not soft what happened to that uh, <coughs> loser and if you find maybe your spray didn't cover a certain area and you're like holy crap i got a whole blank space over here you can grab your tacket and just dot in those spaces and of course follow the directions for the tacket about 15 minutes blah 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 but get your whole tumbler covered in this beautiful gold leaf variegated gold leaf foil and oh my gosh this is amazing it's looking so beautiful Ooh, look it's flying all right woo that is beautiful now if you'll notice uh, all the spots aren't perfect there were some spots where it rubbed off or maybe the spray didn't get on there good but listen don't worry about that this is just a base layer to give you some variety uh, at, other than just doing black so right now just for safety measure I'm gonna hit this with some mate clear a before we airbrush a on it a. all right now i have my colors lined up that i'm gonna do a fade i'm using this pinata i would have liked to have had like amethyst on the uh, ranger but i don't have it i'm out so you know and i may not do black Ooh, get your hand out of the way because eggplant's pretty dark i might be ending it with that i don't know if i'll need black go in this order just do a little fade the tealy color to the blue to the purple to the darker that's what i'm going for all right i'm starting off with stream focus there we are and i got in my herb brush make sure you put the lid on it's very very important so let's get started do a little Look, you're just going for the illusion. You're looking to darken it up. Because remember, it's a, it's a night sky. It's dark stuff. But how much more interesting is it going to be with all that texture and different colors of shimmer coming through from the variegated gold leaf? So down here is going to be some trees. I'm not really worried about that. This is the chance. You see that one spot was yellow. It mess, messed up. Just hit that a little darker, and then boom, it blends right in. See, that's why you don't have to worry about covering 
the whole thing ridiculously. But look at this, come over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this compared to that side. When the light hits it, oh my gosh. It's so amazing. On to the next color. All right, for the next color, I'm going to do indigo. I feel like that would be pretty. If it's not, then uh, just don't tell me, okay? Fade it down a little bit. Just lightly go over that color you already did. That makes a nice transition. Oh, oh, this is kind of purpley looking. I thought indigo was blue. Whatever. We'll just go with it. I like it. It looks good. Listen, all you're doing, it's a, it's a dark night, but it's got beautiful things happening in the sky, okay? All you're doing is just making something more interesting than just black. All right, next color. All right, the next color is a passion purple. Oh, there's so much passion in this purple. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's nice. I'm gonna do that all the way up to the top almost. Wow, I love that. That one might should have been before the indigo. Who knew the indigo was so purpley looking? Wow, that's nice. Oh my gosh, I love that. All right, now for the last color, I'm gonna use Eggplant. Oh, that sounds beautiful and delicious. All right, I taped around the top because one of my pet peeves is getting paint inside the tumbler because it is absolutely unnecessary. And now we have our last color, eggplant. Always, hey, listen here. Listen, learn from me. Uh, I got a little color on my finger there. Always put this bad boy on. Boy, I can't tell you how many things I've screwed up splashing paint around with this mug. You know what I'm saying? Just, just don't do it, okay? Trust me. All right, darken up around the top there. That's almost the same color as the other one showing up. I think I'm gonna add black to this and finish it off with that. There we go. Ooh, yeah, that's better. Look how much, see how, see how the darker just finishes it off? It just does a really nice job of capping it off. Just look at that fade right there. The black to the purple to the blue to the teal to the natural variegated gold leaf. Cool, let's focus on that a little bit better. That could be just a finished tumble right there. Boom. All right, I changed my mind. The episode's over. Have a good night. I'm just kidding. Listen, we're going to finish, but the next step is to let this dry. And then again, we're going to hit it with the Mate Clear A. All right, so now, oh, hold on, right here. So now it's dry, it's got the Mate Clear A on it. I was going to epoxy it, but then I thought, you know what? I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible. So what I decided to do, I have this trees template and you can go download that link in the description. And since this is tapered, it's going to have a little, woo, you know, a little curve to it. So what I did is I wrapped it around, gave enough room and traced around my bottom that I want to cut. So when I lay it on, it'd be nice and straight. When we get it on, we'll cut this bad boy right here. So it looks like this tree goes right into this one. No one will ever know. Hey, listen, if you don't feel comfortable doing any of this, you can always, like this is not set in stone how to do these things. You can always go and skip a step or add a step. Always put another layer of epoxy if you're not comfortable with it. I just try to tell you guys my way of thinking and way of doing it and give you the confidence to be like, shoot, I can do that, you know, and then just, you just do it and be creative. Stuff you didn't even think you could do, you can do it. Just trust in yourself all right i got my decal on there you can see i had a few wrinkles i cut to smooth out but if you'll see it's really doing what i wanted it to do like see that light back there like the light's coming from behind it now you can stop here and you can epoxy it but there's two things i'm just gonna do two more things to show you what can be done just to keep giving you guys all the ideas i have i like doing that one is this line right here pretty harsh so i'm gonna take the black airbrush and smooth like blend that out just like so look at that line just disappeared just like that that'll make such a difference looks a lot cleaner and neater look at that boom doesn't that look so much better of course it does all right one more thing i'm going to do to make these trees pop just a little bit more is if i'm in alaska i'm looking at the northern lights I feel like there's gonna be snow on here and the snow is not gonna be white because the Northern Lights put off a little green hue. So I've got this one right here and I'm gonna do a little squiggle down here and smear it with a little paintbrush just to give it a little hint of a little reflective snow. I feel like that'll take it to the next level. It's absolutely unnecessary for you if you don't wanna do it, I don't care. But I'm just showing you these things, how to think next level outside the box. Uh, it may look terrible, I don't know, you'll find out.
And all you're doing here is giving the illusion. So don't go crazy. Just do a little here and there, you know, like so. Or don't do it at all. It's up to you. I show you things. You make decisions. Of course, this is always something you could do after you've epoxied and you feel more comfortable doing it. Like one at the very top. Snow's always going to hit the top. Look beautiful. And you can also sell the, the droopy effect of the snow hitting the uh, leaves there. A little curve. Almost done. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? What's funny is uh, the thing of illusion. If you were to ask somebody, what color is that snow on those trees? They'd be like, well, white, of course. Wrong -o. It's like a mint green because the northern lights give off that kind of thing. Now, I'm going to do a little sh sh across the bottom. And we're just, you know how we do, we scribble. So we scribble across the bottom. I'm making like a sort of line and bef going around super quick. And before it dries, I'm just gonna brush and give it like a little ch -ch 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 and get my pants dirty at the same time, apparently. Keep brushing until you feel happy about it, you know? You can brush a little bit, brush a lot of bit, get a lot off, get a little off, fade it up. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. This is snow. This is rolly hill mountainese things. Is that a word? I don't know. Look at that, I love that. Your mind just made this scene. You saw what's going on in the terrain. And like I said, if you don't like it, just blow back over it with black with your airbrush. Who cares? Wow. I just think that next level looking right there. My, my socks and sandals agree, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay, so what we have here, I've mixed up about 20 milliliters of epoxy, laid it on there, and I have a little bit left. You see, I got a little bit left in there. Let it roll for a minute, hit it with the torch, and now, as you'll see over here, I have a mica powders, uh, mica powders? Eh, more than a, in some cups. Lots of beautiful colors I think would look great for some northern lights. I've got me a little fan brush. Think it'll work out nicely. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take and dip, pick colors. My idea is to do like a fade almost start with uh, this color right here the greeny towards the bottom maybe accent towards the top with this guy right here like a little rosy so i got green to teal to blue to purple maybe mix in some rosy i've looked at several pictures you see i got a really ridiculously nice the light's hitting right here so you're getting all the Wee! Boy, that's pretty. Got a lot of cool things happening in here. So, I want it to go like this. Do, 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 do. I might just turn it off and just do it. But it's it's got epoxy. You don't want to let it sit too long without rolling or else start, you know, drooping. So you don't want that. So let's get started. I'm just going to dip this in here. Kick it off a little bit. And we're just going to go do, 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 Couple here. Do the same thing. Kick it off. Do, 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 do. You got to make the little sounds. Pause it. I'm going to do like a little whoop de woo right here. You'll see what I'm talking about. Like, da, 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 da. like you've seen the northern lights doing that little majestic swirl going upwards. I'm going to do one over here. Let me turn it so you can see it. Don't worry if it drips around a little bit. It'll kind of help add to the, the effect from the reference pictures that I've seen that I liked. Throw in some more colors up towards the top. I want to do some blue. It got a little too heavy. Blue here. This one's going to go like this. Purple. Can you see? I know I'm in the light a little bit. All over. Oops. I forgot to put blue right there. Listen, I don't think it really matters what colors you put where. Just do some. Throw this guy up here at the top. This little rosy color. He's pretty. All right, I got a few more little areas right here. I'm going to do a nice little, ooh, big little swoop there. I feel like that'll be very nice looking. Like I said, just pick some colors. And if you wanted to, you could just do one solid color, one streak, one color, another streak. But what I would recommend is to find some reference photoage that you like made that word up how about that photoage all right now we're gonna let it roll for a second turn it on and we're gonna look at it and see if we think we should add anything else around Ooh, i missed a spot there i want some green there here as it rolls gotta be quick you're a quick one listen you can't really go wrong but you can kind of overdo it so you know get to a point where you're like okay i like that and then we'll stop and let it go and in the meantime, I'm gonna tell you, these things right here are labeled as soap dye, but they're actually mica powders, and I have the link in the description. They come in a whole box of assorted colors. They go so far, and it lasts so long. And now, it's time for the fun part. We're just gonna gently pull this up, finish the effect. As you notice, if you look at a real picture, the lines go like this, but it kinda like, whoo, whoo, up. There's no, not a technical word for it. It's just called, whoo. So you just grab it from the bottom, and you just gently, whoo. Did you see it? 
pull from the bottom. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yes. Pull. Don't have to worry about going in order. It'll get back around again and you'll get it all done. Don't worry about it. Don't rush it. But just go up straight. You just want to make sure you go straight with the brush. And then, ooh, nice light touch, nothing crazy. Just make sure you're going pretty straight. You don't have to be in a hurry. This stuff's not going to cure fast. And as a matter of fact, I don't know if I told you or not, I'm using Alumilite Quick Coat, actually. So that stuff's really fast. Still, plenty of time. Look at that. Oh, that's so sick. And as you can see, where I, you thought I put too heavy, like maybe I thought so too. That is looking the best. Oh my gosh, I want to add so much more. That's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, why is that so beautiful? Who? calm down now. I'm getting so excited. This is so beautiful. Like I had an idea in my mind of how beautiful this was, but this passed it, surpassed it, especially with that background. Oh my gosh, look at that background that you see popping through there, right here, want something. Boom, this is this, uh, every time I think, it's the most beautiful tumbler I ever made, and then I make another one, and I'm like, oh, this might be the most beautiful tumbler I made. So play with it till you're happy, get it the way you want to. I love this. I've got just enough balance where I feel like I can see through that beautiful background. And if you look at your reference photos, they don't even really have this much going on. I just got a little carried away, hard to stop myself because it was looking really sick. But now it's rolling. I'm still let go. In two hours, we're going to come back because this is quick coat and put another layer on and then we're done. But I got another little treat for you before then. We're going to do a little bit of Glitter Bay just at the top. That's all I want. I'm holding up real high so that it disperses very well by the time uh, it hits the cup tumbler. And what this is, is Twinkle from the Glitter Guy. And it makes the perfect, like little holographic stars. Like I said, don't put too much. Like I'm way up here, I'm probably about two feet above the cup and I'm just letting it fall like rain. And I'm gonna do a little heavier towards the top to make it a little more starry. Ooh. Look at that starry sky. Holy cow, everything about this is so stinking beautiful. I don't even understand it. Don't get carried away then, you gotta have a stopping point. Stop, done, don't do it anymore. Just leave it alone, let it roll. Two hours later, we'll come back, put another coat of Illumilite Quick Coat. So good, so beautiful. Let's see what it looks like when we're done. Man, that turned out even better than I thought. I mean, I thought it'd be pretty pretty, but this is pretty pretty pretty, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, that gold leaf just worked out so perfectly. A little glitter bay on top, and then the mica powder just, whew. It's just got, it's got a lot of special things going on. And speaking of special, let me tell you about the special destiny of this tumbler. You're all familiar with the Secret Santa Christmas collab that we did. And everybody keeps asking me, who had you? Who had you? Well, long story short, it was Minderella Creations. And she had something unfortunate happen during things. She wasn't able to, to do it. And we told her, we was like, hey, don't even worry about it. Uh, you just focus on you and your family. A lot of you probably already know that she, her husband passed away. But I thought instead of her making me a tumbler, I would send this tumbler to her. I thought that it would be really special to her. Uh, it would mean a lot and maybe brighten up her day. Also, I'm doing something else I've never done before. I have four of these available right now on the website. If you want to go grab them, you'd be one of the first four lucky ones, or the only four lucky ones, because they'll be gone after that. If you guys like that and you respond well to that, I could do that with uh, maybe some more of my videos. I don't know. So if you enjoyed this video, if you think this tumbler is beautiful, hit that thumbs up button really quick. It helps the algorithm show people that this is a good video and people like it. And also, you guys give the absolute best comments. If you get a chance, just go down to any video, like literally any one of them, and read the comments that you guys put. And other people and it's just like wow you guys just don't say hey I like that like you guys write some really meaningful stuff some of you write a book and I love that now go watch our epic secret Santa Christmas collab right here okay? yeah. all right let's go